Hello everybody, my name is Xaventure and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Last time, Pikachu gave us a surprise moving all over the, all over the place in a Pokeball and we have defeated our rival and we met Blue after beating Brock and getting the Boulder Badge. And now we are heading towards our journey to continue on becoming Pokemon Masters. Now who's this guy? Oh, you're a new trainer? I'm a, I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainer? Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm, I'm one of them. We coach trainers are, we coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try out your strengths, you should definitely battle us. Uh, you, lo you look like someone who wants to try your own strength. Do you want to have a Pokemon battle with me? A coach trainer? You know what? Why the heck not? Okay, here I come! Alright! Adventure versus a trainer coach! Trainer coach Karim! He brings out a Bulbasaur? What? Okay, Pikachu, let's do this! I don't know how this guy has a Bulbasaur, but hey! Let's show him what we got! Crap, it's not very effective. Alright, that doesn't hurt anything, cause I can do a quick attack. Just like that! Ooh! Apparently Bulbasaur can do quite some strong attacks too. Still not gonna stop us though! We can hit hard as give as we can get. Pikachu is one of our strongest allies. Okay, Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur went to Leech Seed. Okay, so I gotta think fast on these situations. If I if I have to come down to it, I have to switch out. Looks like I don't have very much of a choice now, do I? If I'm gonna take down Bulbasaur fast, then we're gonna need some extra wind power. All right. Fall back, Pikachu, and come on out, Pidgey! Now we got the upper hand here. Our Pidgey's a level 9, yeah, but he's a wind- like, she's a wind-type Pokemon. It's a flying-type Pokemon, you get what I mean. Which means, we can do twice the damage. Plus, I think this is a good idea, too. If we're able to defeat a level 11 Bulbasaur, then we could have a higher chance of getting gaining more experience. As for mirror move, I don't know what that is. I really don't. Oof! Crap, that was a quit crit too. Ew. Crit. Oh no. Okay, Pidgey, I need you to stay strong. We're gonna risk it! Use Gust! Yeah! Way to go, Pidgey! Looks like we proved we're pretty much tough. Pikachu's level 11. Rattata is level 7. Nidoran is level 8. And we have defeated Karam Coach Trainer. We got a hundred... We got a thousand one hundred Poke Points. You defeated a Coach Trainer. Just like that, I... Just like that. In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. He... We gotta revive! Nice! Revives will heal a Pokemon that's been knocked out. Something that a potion can't do. Be sure to use them wisely. Of course we do. Now, before we continue on, since we fought a Bulbasaur and since we didn't get it as a beginner Pokemon, will it show us its location? Wrong area to go to. Ah! Oh, dang it! I really wanted a Charmander. Okay, so before we go and continue on our journey, we are gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, heal our Pokemon, and then continue on. Because it's always a good idea to heal your Pokemons after a good fight.
And there we go, all our Pokemons are fully healed. True story about this one, the game, the first game of Pokemon Red and Blue actually came out in 1998, the year I was born actually. I didn't have a chance to actually play it because the only game that I knew was out was called Pokemon Gold and Silver, which is when I saw my brother playing it and I thought, and I became intrigued by it. By the chance I grew old enough, I started trying out the world of Pokemon, and I loved it. And here we are, after so many years of playing. 20 years! 20 long years since Nintendo's best work of Pokemon Generations. We're back to the where it all began. In a whole different idea. Now let's get this fighting going. Okay, an Otis did drain. It's not gonna do a whole lot since we're up in a higher level. Though I was quite surprised to see a Pokemon coach. But hey, we try our best to become strong and beat the best. Like how we defeated the Punch Trainer and gained three Pokeballs. Now what else does this world of Poke- Oh! Three Pokeballs! Three Pokeballs! Alright. Now I just wonder, what else are we going to be expecting here in the world of Pokemon? A whole new remastered word. world. <laughs> and we all know what's going to go on. Some of us saw it. We're going to deal with Pokemon coaches and these characters known as Pokemon Masters. And to be truthfully honest, I'm going to be looking forward to finding those Pokemons too. I think Pokemon Trainers too. Alright, now we're on to our next fight against Camper Victor. Hey, Camper, Camper Victor, that actually rhymed. Oh, Nidoran. Let's see what we can do, Pikachu. Let's go with a good old-fashioned double kick. Not strong. Oh boy, here comes a poison sting. Oh no! Pikachu! Pikachu just got poisoned! Ah oh, no! That's what I least wanted! Okay, let's try to finish this off quick. Use quick attack! Ah, not pick! It's not very effective, but it's still bad! Oh my god, the poison is getting worse. Ah, uh, finish it off, Pikachu! Quick attack! We did it! We defeated the Pokemon Camper, Victor. And we got two Great Balls. Ooh. Okay, let's go back to the Pokemon Center fast, because Pikachu does not look so... Actually, she looks okay, but not going to be okay while she still has poison around her. Poison is really terrible stuff. Mmm, no. Alright, here we are back at the Pokemon Center. Hey, Nurse Joy, can you heal my Pokemons again? My Pikachu got poisoned. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I really do appreciate helping my Pikachu. Alright, now that we got that fixed and hopefully not meet any other poison type Pokemons, we can continue our journey. While well, an Otis runs right behind us. So I wonder where Jake is. It's been a while since I haven't seen him. Any wild Pokemons here? Just a Rattata. Oh, there's a Pokeball here. Oh, lore! I never understood how to use it. Maybe I could look up a guide how to do it. Any 
you know what? Let's switch our Pokemons a little bit. Um, Rattata, you need some skills learning. And matter of fact, we can help you gain one. HM Headbutt. Hey, TM Headbutt. That's what I meant to say. Oops. Alright, here we go with another Pokemon battle. X Adventure versus Youngster Ben. Oh! He's bringing out a Rattata. Perfect! We're bringing out our Rattata also! Our Rattata is actually a level up higher on this one. That's good. Ooh! Strong though. But our headbutt is actually stronger. Awesome! Ooh, hang in there, Rattata! And headbutt! And there we go! We've been in another fight with our Rattata. 100, 120 Poke Points and 3 Pokeballs. Hmm? What is it, Oddish? Found something? A Nana Bear. A Nana. A Nana Berry? Yeah, Nana Berry. If this kid is a Pokemon trainer, I'm gonna need a swap. You are a Pokemon trainer! I guess that's what happens if I ignore the kid and decide to jump down the ledge. Bug Catcher Greg. A Kakuna? Alright, Pidgey, let's do this! Let's do a good old... Actually, I want to figure out what mirror move is. Oh, fan fantastic. Okay, let's try this again. Pidgey, use mirror move. Hmm. I guess I might not have a chance to use it, so I might have to check what it does. But anyways, we're going to finish this off quick with a gust. And probably a tackle? Yeah, a tackle. And this fight goes to us. Good try, Greg. Good try. But, one thing for sure, Pidgey grew to level 10. Increasing HP. Got 60 Poke Points and Poke Balls. Alright, that was a good fight, I guess. Yeah, who am I kidding? It was a good fight. I guess we're still gonna see some original Pokemon like Ratatas, and we got another revive. Which that's is good too. Yeah. What do we got here? You can't read this sign from the back. Heh, <laughs> true. Mount Moon. Oh yeah. We heard that there's supposed to be famous moonstones around here. Hello there. Phew! Just taking a little rest here. That tunnel from Curly Surlian City takes a lot out of you. Hmm. Hey! Another Pokemon coach! I'm gonna challenge this Pokemon coach. But first, we gotta get our we gotta get our pro Pokemons prepared. Heal up Ratata. Heal up Pidgey. And let's see what we're facing up against on this round. Are you ready? Let's do it! X Adventure versus po Coach Trainer Oboran! Oboran brings out a Meowth. And we bring out a Pidgey. This Meowth is a level 3. Like 13. That's what I meant to say. Payday. That did a lot of damage. Still not gonna stop. Ooh. I gotta remember, Pidgey's not strong on special attacks. Ooh. Let's try tackle. 
Okay, let's swap a little bit. Meowth is a normal type Pokemon, that's what I know for sure. So, what better to use a normal type? And what better way to fight a normal type Pokemon than fighting type? Jeez, Meowth's payday is very powerful. Okay, let's try a double kick. Hang in there, Pikachu! Now, use double kick! Yeah! And I know just the way how to finish it. Pikachu, use quick attack! And there you go! We have defeated our second coach. Trainer coach. Yeah. You won't... You won't have any trouble going through Mount Moon. You got 1,300 Poke Points for winning. You picked up 260. Woo! Extras. That was a great battle. Take this as thanks. TM57 Payday. Huh. Maybe once we get our own Meowth, we can teach it. TM57 is for the move Payday. It's a move that'll scatter money around that you can pick up later for a little extra. Pocket money. Ah, that's always good. Oh sweet, a Pokemon Center! That's... It's good to know that we have a Pokemon Center nearby to heal our Pokemons. That's always good. You know, I should have... Got a... I should have done some extra training with my Pokemon. Make them stronger. Yeah, that was kind of a bad move on my side. But hey, we all learn our mistakes. Ouch, I tripped over Geodude laying on the ground. Oh yeah, Geodudes can actually secretly be rocks. You can ride on a certain Pokemon like Onyx. You know, I think I might find myself an Onyx myself too. And we got ourselves an escape rope. Perfect! Just in case we need to get out of the cave fast. Hey, a Meowth! Huh. I don't know how we get to that. Mount Moon. Alright. Here we go. Here we are, inside Mount Moon. Jesse and James! Looks like there's nothing here. Then let's just search further in. You! You were eavesdropping on us, us just now, weren't you? Meowth! You were supposed to keeping watch! Uh, I did kind of wish that Nintendo actually allowed Team Rocket here to have a talking Meowth. We know there's a rare fossil buried around here somewhere? If you got any, you if you got any, you'd better hand them over to us, Twerp. Oh, you talking to me? That's right. If anyone is going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. I don't think so, punks. But one thing's for sure: there's a bunch of Geo dudes, and you know this is a good place to actually catch a couple of Pokemon. And kind of think of it. This place might have some, you know, this place might have some rock and ground type Pokemon. So let's switch up with Oddish. I do hope that Oddish did learn a, uh, you know, a grass type move. Okay, we found ourselves a Geodude. Get your Pokeball through the moving ring. Oh. As the ring gets smaller, that's your chance to try it and snag a great bonus. Ah. Okay. Nice! One, two, three. And we got ourselves a Geodude! In just one go, too! Awesome! Nice throw, first throw, and technique bonus. Ah, oh, Rattata was so close to leveling up, too. But Pikachu leveled up. And learn Double Team. Double Team is pretty good, so let's forget about Tail Whip. Because what better way 
then to lower your enemy's defense, then increase your chance of increase your chance of getting not hit. Nito ran leveled up to level nine, and also learned double kick. That's awesome. Let's see. Let's get rid of Growl. All our Pokemons are slowly getting stronger. And hey, that's a good progress at work. We got ourselves Geodude, commonly, f commonly found near mountain trails and it and the like. If you step on, on one by accident, it gets angry. Right, because they get mad if somebody thought that Geodudes are common rocks. Oh, a special Geodude. You know I gotta get it. It's huge! Oh, it's a level 10. Let's go with a raspberry. Use. Wait for it. Go. Nice uh, yet again. One, two. And there we go. We got ourselves another Geodude, but he's huge. And that gave us a lot of experience points. That is good. Otters went up to level 10. Rattata is level 8. Pidgey is level 11. Pidgey learned Quick Attack. That's pretty good. Um, Let's get rid of Sand Attack. Yeah. Nidoran leveled up to level 10, and Sparrow leveled up to level 8. And learned Leer. Nice. A catch combo number 2. Keep it up. A rock and ground type Pokemon. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. What did we just run into? What the heck? A Paras? Well, capture every last Pokemon, am I right? Time for a Raspberry? And catch! Oh, ho, 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 ho. A, a perfect! Great! Now that was perfect! But, in either way, we got Paras! Got a little bit of experience out of that too. And let's say hello to our new partner. Burrows under the ground to gna gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. Oh. Interesting. Wait, you're a bug catcher. There are suspicious characters looking around in the caves. And you are? I'm X Event, and the two people you're talking about is Team Rocket, Jesse and James. Oh, you're bringing out a Butterfree! Oddish, let's see what you got! Ah, oh, this one's a level 7. Oh, it's shooting out a Confusion. It's super effective! Oh, crap! Our attack and special attack rose. That's pretty good. Can we get more HP out of that? Oh boy, here comes a gust. Oh, this is bad. I was expecting rock type Pokemon trainers, not uh, bug type. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry, Oddish. Looks like we gotta pass you by to somebody else. Sadly, I don't have a lot of Pokemon that knows. Okay. Come on now, Pidgey! Butterfly, Butterfly uses confusion yes, yet again? Ah! Oh, why my Pidgey? Why my Pidgey? Come on. Yeah, there we go! Pidgey uses Gust. Ooh. And it was a crit too. That's pretty good. Alright. Let's go for another gust. Come on, you can do it. Yeah! Way to go, Pidgey! Butterfree is unable to battle, and we won with a rank of 
rank <laughs> with 103 experience points. We fought, we defeated Bug Catcher Kent. Now, what is this? Five great balls. Ooh, we got plenty of more great balls. Okay, so let's heal our Oddish and Pidgey because they took a hit. Especially you, Pidgey. You got confusion. So yeah, this is a whole different way of doing this whole Pokemon work. Fighting against Pokemon trainers that uses... Ah, oh, I see you, James. I see you there on the upper right left corner. Okay, we are fighting against Lass Evelyn. And we're going to be fighting up against a Bellsprout, a grass-type Pokemon. Man, we're not fighting any uh, rock-type Pokemon trainers now, are we? Oh, wait, why didn't I teach... Why didn't I teach uh, Oddish Headbutts? That would've been good. <laughs> that way... That way, Oddish has more ways to finding Pokemons. Sorry, Oddish, but I'm gonna switch you around again. I'm gonna give you Headbutt later. Let's give Spiro a chance. You know, Peck, Growl, and Leer. I'll give you a Headbutt, too. Okay, Spiro, show me what you can do. All right, already avoiding an attack. Now show me your peck. Oh, that was a pretty strong one. Growth isn't going to help you when you're about to go down. Go for peck one more time, Spiro. And that's it. Got ourselves a little bit of ranks up. Rattata grew to level 9, and Lu learn focus energy, huh? Um, let's get rid of Tail Whip. Rattata learned focus energy, and we defeated Les, Les Evelyn, getting 160 Poke Points and 3 Pokeballs. Man, we are actually doing pretty good. Jesse. You're pretty fast, kid! Well, um, it's called jogging. <laughs> um, what was he doing again? Oh, yeah! Given Oddish and, uh, Spiro headbutt. Or payday. But yeah, I'm gonna teach Oddish headbutt. So that way it has more varieties in attacking. Aw, oh, Pikachu is the only one to know. Payday. Okay, give Spiro headbutt too. All right, that's good. Now let's see what's down here. More Geo dudes. But I wonder what else we can find. Ooh, it goes deeper down. A Team Rocket recruit. So Jesse and James are the are not the only ones here. Oh, so close to a great. And we got ourselves another Geo dude. I know this is gonna get ridiculous, but hey, I need the experience to level up Pokemon faster. We all know that. Like, see? It's getting so much better. We got a large and a small Geodude. A rare candy? That's actually a surprise to see. For anybody who's a newcomer of Pokemon, Pokemon, rare candies are supposed to level up Pokemons more faster. But anyways, how about we take on... A Team Rocket Grunt! Alright, this Grunt brings out a Rattata, while I bring out an Oddish! Okay, this Rattata is a level 9. Nothing too bad. 
Unless it has quick attack, that's actually a little bit bad. But nothing I can handle with a simple Skull Bash. <laughs> skull Bash. Let's go with a little quick growth. With it, we can increase our strength in attack and special attacks. Now let's go with another headbutt. Oof. Otters is really taking a hit. But can give than what he, she can get. <laughs> I blew it! 252 poking points for that. Is that Clefairy? Wow, we're finding multiple different kinds of Pokemons. And now a Clefairy. Okay. Let's try to make it like us a little bit more. There we go. Wait for it. Oh, it knew. She knew I was going to do it. Oh, you're going to start moving down, aren't you? Oh, wrong way. That's another wrong way. No, 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 no. I don't want to run. I want to capture this huge Clefairy. Dang it. No. There we go. Not the best work, but... Hey, we caught ourselves... A huge Clefairy! I just... I just realized... Would they still have the uh, fairy type? Clefairy? Poison powder. Oh, that's really gonna come in handy. Uh, what's acid? The opposing Pokemon are attacked with a spray of harsh acid. They also may lower their special defense too. Nah, I'll be okay without the acid. Don't need, don't need to give anybody acid, really. But hey, welcome to our crew, Cliff Fairy. Ah, the fairy type move. Uh, the fairy type is on this. Okay, that's good. No, whoa, uh, uh, there's a lot of Geo dudes. So many Geo dudes. Holy crap! But I do wonder if I will be able to find an Onyx around here. Because I feel like you could have a chance to ride on its back. Hey, a Zubat! I'll catch it another time. Okay, let's switch out Pokemon now. And let's give Nidoran a chance. Wrong button to press. Move Pokemon. There we go! Alright, Nidoran, it's time for you to show me your skills! We are fighting against young Youngster Robbie. Oh! This kid has a monkey! Mankey! Mankeys are fighting type Pokemons. But since Nidoran is a poison type, fighting type moves won't do very effective damage. Oh! Focus energy looks much more cooler. Excuse me. Let's go for another double kick, Nidoran. Yeah. Hey, you scratch me with a critical hit, I scratch you back. Nidoran, you scratch. And that's our victory. We defeated youngster Robbie. I lost? You got 160 Poke Points. And three Pokeballs. Oh, there's two Pokeballs here. We got Ether. Nice. That'll increase. Uh, that'll bring. Yeah, that'll restore the power points using for Pokemon. And we got Repel. Repel. I don't get it. Like, why do we need Repel if we don't randomly encounter a Pokemon? We could just walk right towards them. I don't get it. <laughs> Wanna go for round two, Nidoran? Let's see what you got. 
Okay, we are fighting against the last Miri Miriam. Oh, she's bringing out a Kefari. Hmm, I don't remember. What? I don't remember Fairy Time Pokemon's weakness. Nor do I know, uh... Okay, fighting type moves are not very effective. This is kind of a problem because I don't know what they're really weak against. Poison! They're weak against poison type moves! Alright, Needle Rand, use Poison Sting again! Oh yeah! Poisoned! Keep it going! Keep those poison stings a going! One more time! Go for poison sting one more time? I don't know what just happened there. And that's our victory! For sure, I thought I was gonna have a gigantic struggle. But nope! Now I know fairy type Pokemon's weakness. And yes, for the longest time, ever since Pokemon X and Y showed up, I did not know the fairy type Pokemon's weakness. Yikes! Quit following us! Wait, James, where are you going? There's. Oh, there is a way here. Oh, there's a little bit of a leak over there. Whoa, that Clefairy is chasing after us. Uh, let's bring out our Nidoran. Wrong button. There we go. I guess we can't sh search that one, but we could go down this way. So what do we got? Ah, crap. Geodudes. Nah, don't worry, Geodude. I'm not going to catch you. So what do we got here? A nugget! Very pricey stuff! Hmm. I'm gonna wait till I see, like, special... Uh, Noi... Uh, not Noi Bats. Um... You know what I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. So many of these bats showing up all over the place. So many bats! Youngster Josh, that's who we're fighting up against, and he's bringing out Sandshrew. Look at you being like Sonic the Hedgehog, but you're yellow. Okay, so Sandshrews are ground-type Pokemon, so double kick! Oh, I thought double kick would be super effective. Okay, let's get you poisoned up. Okay, poison type moves does not do a lot of damage. It's not gonna do any effects on a poison type. Let's do a scratch. Ooh, that was a strong scratch. Sand attack. Okay, let's go with another double kick. Crap, the sand attack. Stop blinding my needle ran! Double kick again! Here we go! Yes! A strong double kick. If you're hoping to poison my Nidoran, good luck with that. My Nidoran is a poison type. And we finished that fight there. And our Nidoran grew to level 12. Getting an extra experience point. And learning bite. Heck yeah. Um, let's get rid of Tail Whip. <laughs> Our Nido Ran learned bite. And we defeated Youngster Sh that uh, Youngster Josh. Gained three Pokeballs and 160 Poke Points. Whoa, you surprised me! Oh, you're just a kid. Yeah, you got a problem with that, man? Well, we're fighting up against Hiker Marcus. I 
he's got Geodude. Show me what your Geodude can do. Dude. Alright, his Geodude's at level 10. You know, Rand, show him what your double kicks are made of. Another sand attack? Man, a lot of these people like to blind my Pokemon. Which I do not like myself. Which is why you're getting a double kick to the face. You're getting multiple double kicks to your face, mother trucker. Ah, crap. The, the sand attack is becoming worse, sir. Okay. Geodude fainted. Rattata leveled up. He's about to bring out another Geodude, so let's bring out Pikachu. Pikachu! Alright, Pikachu, let's do it. Bring out a good old double kick. Strong and effective. Ooh. Okay, one more time, Pikachu. Yes! We have defeated the Hiker. And Pikachu grew to level 14. Awesome! Whoa, Pikachu's stats are getting better. Well, Marcus, you lost. And we gained three Pokeballs. There's a scientist over here. I guess I'll talk to him later. Right now, I need to see what those Team Rocket Punks are doing. Uh, excuse me, Geodudes. Hey, Meowth! Meow! Get back here, Meowth! Where's this cave leading to, anyways? Probably the entrance to the new city. Another city, I mean. We got ourselves another revive. Revives are always good. Use them well, use them wisely. Yo, dude. Don't need one right now. Let's see, how's our Nido Rand doing? Give you a break. And let's fight this grunt. Alright. X Venture versus Team Rocket Grunt. He brings out a drowsy. Crap, a drowsy. It's a sidekick. We'll see what we can do. Pikachu, bring out Thundershock. There's a strong attack. And there's the confusion. Crap. Come on, give out another Thunder Shack. That was a critical. Nice job. Now give him a good quick attack. And there we go. We defeated another Grunt. Pidgey leveled up to level 13. So you are good. Yeah. Now on to our... Alright. Right. Okay, these... Uh, <coughs> the Zubats are getting really hyper about this. So we'll just capture another one another time. If, I, if another uh, Zubat bumps into me, I'll catch it. <gasps> An Onyx! It's huge! Ooh. Wait, this Onyx is a level 5. Strange. Well, either way, here's a Raspberry. 
Wait for it. Now! Got it, but... Oh, Mr. Great. Oh, crap! Okay, we're gonna need an extra punch out of this. We're gonna need a Great Ball. And we're gonna need a Raspberry. Another one. Now! Dang, so close for a Great. One, two... Oh, Onyx is pretty tough to capture. I won't give up yet. Come on. Oh, so close. I don't know how I hit that, but come on. Oh, this Onyx is tough. Is this game sure this Onyx is a level 5? Great! One, two, three, and that's it! We captured Onyx! Whew! This Onyx was a struggle, but we did it! We caught ourselves an Onyx! A huge one at that! Let's get her with growth. Because Oddish is going to become stronger with level ups. And plus, you never know when a stun spore is actually going to come in handy. So here's our new ally, Onyx. Burrows at high speed in search of food. The tunnels it leaves are used as homes by Diglets. Oh, that's good to know. I did hear there was a... The there you two are. Aren't those dark colored things fossils? Alright, Meowth. Go get those fossils. Wow. Hold on. Gotta heal my Pokemon. Heal Pikachu. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Heal Nido Ran. And Oddish. All right, you two. That's a very... I was about to say, that was a very little... Uh... Yeah, Geodude. Crap, that's not what I wanted. I need to make sure to grab some more Great Balls. No! Jeez, I don't know why I was having trouble throwing straight right there. And I got... I'm catching multiple Pokemons because, you know, gains more experience. Whew. Got another Geodude. Okay, so they're distracted right now. Excuse me, Zubat. There's that grunt that we defeated. There's a little Geodude. I'm gonna stop capturing Geodudes for now. There's another grunt, a female one. And we gotta revive. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown ups. Says you. Okay, we're dealing with another Team Rocket Grunt. And she brings out a Zubat. Now, who did I bring out again? Pikachu! Oh, your Zubat's in trouble now. Give him a good Thunder Shock. And it's over. Man, Pikachu is a really high level. I just realized that. Boy, that really makes me steam. 252 Poke Points is what we get. Oh, so you're the guy with the fossil. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine! Whoa, dude, I'm not after your fossils! Super Nerd Magool. Hey, he looks scary like that. A Voltorb. Okay, Pikachu, show him what you got. 
They're both electric types, so there should be no problems on this. Going for a light screen. All right. Let's give it a good old quick attack. Probably end it. Ooh, so close. But this fight, this part of the fight is ours. Sixty-five experience points. Nido ran leveled up to level thirteen. Nice. Agmamite, huh? Steel type. Let's go for a double kick. And it's over. It's super effective. Hit two times, and Magnemite is down. We defeated Migul. Okay, I'll share! Jeez, man, I wasn't even... I wasn't even after your stone. Fine, we'll each take a fossil. It's no good being greedy, right? That is true. So I'm gonna go with the dome fossil. I feel like I have good expectations about this. Alright, then the other fossil is mine. Alright. Eh, don't take it too hard, man. Stop right there! Hey! Hands off! That fossil belongs to us! How did you even get here ahead of us? We're Team Rocket! I'm Jesse! And I'm James. And the two of us... And two of us are going to take that fossil back! Over my dead body! You don't know who you're fighting up against, Jesse and James. But anywho, T it's X Adventure versus Jesse and James. Let's go, Pikachu and Nita Ran. I feel like I have a little bit of an upper hand here, because I have Pokemon that are much more stronger. Plus, I got one Pokemon that's actually a strong resistance against poison types. Poison type moves, basically. Okay, finding type moves aren't strong against finding types. Okay. That's a nasty acid. Yeah, I guess poison type moves aren't very effective. I think finding type moves aren't very effective to poison types. But nothing that we can handle than a good old Thundershock. And a bite. There we go. Ugh. Nasty ass. Ekans is gonna go down. Alright, let's go with the same old attack route. Pikachu used Thundershock on Coughing. And Nidoran used Bite on Ekans. You two don't stand a chance! Like heck, Coughing is a is stunned! It's not gonna be very effective. Now time to finish this, time to wrap this one up with coughing. Coughing is unable to battle. And Pikachu levels up. To level 15. Whoa, HP, attack, and speed, it just got a massive boost. Pikachu learned Thunder Wave. Let's see, what should I get rid of? Thunder Shock has been really good with me. I don't really use Double Team. So I'm gonna get rid of Double Team and swip it, swap it with Thunder Wave. You two don't stand a chance! One more hit and it's done. Oh wait, just to make sure. Uh, heck? And 
And let's go with a bite. And that's it. We are done. We have defeated Team Rocket, Jesse, and James. I can't believe it! A tour beat us! Yeah? Uh, just give me a second. Give me a second, everybody. All right, everybody, I'm back. I just had to help out my aunt. We defeated Jesse and James. And I guess this letter leads us to the exit. And we made it to Route and this is where I'm actually going to stop here for now. I know, it's kind of a strange stop to put around here. But don't worry, I'll be okay. So, I hope all of you enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Share this with your friends and family. Leave a comment below. Join the adventure today. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everybody.